lot of people starting to look towards the trade deadline after that another blowout loss. We probably have another blowout loss coming on Sunday Night Football against the Bills. And so, uh, you know, people are talking about the trade deadline. And uh, I think a lot of people are saying, you know, pretty there's there's very few players that you will not offer in a trade. Um, and so I posed a question to Talking Giants. Like, what what actually needs to happen in the next three weeks? Because trade deadline is Halloween. And so that means we'll have three more games before that trade deadline, right? We have the Bills, and then we have the Commanders and the Jets. I don't, I, unless there's some kind of like weird blip in the matrix, some kind of major catastrophe, I don't see us beating the Bills. But I could see us getting Thomas back, getting Barkley back, and edging out the Commanders and edging out the Jets. What do you need to see in those three games to make you think, oh, we got to kind of keep this core intact. We got to keep this this team intact to make a to make a second half run. Because listen, three and five is tough. You know, I think it was 2019 when we were three and five or something to that effect and we traded for Leonard Williams and we damn near lost our minds. Like what the fuck is Gettleman doing? And has that panned out, that trade? Eh, I mean, he makes so much goddamn money and uh, he's, I don't, there are a lot of stats out there that I feel like are misleading and would have you believe that he's like on the level of Aaron Donald. And I don't think he is. So, um, you know, what do you, I don't think we're going to be trading for anyone. Although, I mean, I would not be opposed if they really have a good, like if we really, so here's my take. We play uh, the right now, the spread is 14 against the bills. If we, lose but we're competitive i keep saying this just look competitive in your losses we have not looked competitive in our losses at all and that is what's most frustrating is like if you were to come to us and say um before the season and i think a lot of people had this in our predictions all right you could go one in five we wouldn't really argue that too much but we would say well we it's one in five but it probably could be two and four two and four or three and three. Like there's probably two or three games in there that we fought hard and we probably should have won. Not, oh, you had no chance in every game you lost. <laughs> like you just got blown out every game. Um, that's a little different. So what needs to happen in the Bills game? If we are competitive and we lose by less than a touchdown, I think if we lose by a field goal, three to six points in that range, uh, and then you go out and you beat the commanders and the Jets, however, in whatever fashion, however that, pans out i don't know that you want to be complete sellers i know it's so tough to come to grips with that because like honestly in all probability no they're not going to the playoffs not the way they're playing and uh i don't know that there's anything you can do in the next three games to make anyone think that they shouldn't sell so yeah odds are they should probably just sell and sell big but it's like mm, so tempted if they do go three and five knowing that the schedule is a little bit easier on the back end and if they just pick up an offensive lineman or two <laughs> we're in the money dude we're in the playoffs yeah it's tough but no most likely i know i have to keep reminding myself to sell just like uh the mets it's like the mets had to sell and they made the right decision by selling